yo, welcome to the Concrete Show. It's your boy Solo. Back at it again, keeping everything in 1K, man. Real quick, once again, man, shout out to all the subscribers. And once again, man, hope everybody's being safe during this pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Just keep your keep your mental strength real heavy, man. You know what I'm saying? Your mental strength gonna it's gonna play a lot into it, man. Hope everybody, you know, just keeping their sanity. They staying inside, not allowed to do some of the things that they want to do, man. But like I said, it's a good time to spend with your family and yourself, man. But like I said, last week, man, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to review some college games, man, just to let some time fly by, man. Last uh, last game I did was Notre Dame, Miami 2017. Miami, you know, <laughs> waxed that behind uh, 41 to 8. You know what I'm saying so <laughs> this time I'm going to do Miami. I actually got a request for it. Miami versus University of Florida. This past season, past 2019 season, they got to open up the college football season with this game. Everybody called it week zero because technically it was because this it was this game. And, and then no other games to play until next week. And that was everybody's week one. So uh, it was a classic. It was a classic game, man. It did. It lived up the expectations as far as being a college football opener. So uh, the final score... Unfortunately, it's 20 to 24. Uh, Gators, Gators pulled it off. Florida won, pulled it off, man. But you know I'm saying it was, uh, I wasn't able to make this game either. I tried to, man. I was too late to get my tickets. I didn't really trust anybody scaffolding tickets on the street, man. I heard people chasing people, chasing other people down, man. Chasing uh, the scaffolds down because they was giving them fake tickets and stuff, man. So I wasn't even gonna take that chance. I went to Orlando, man, took my family there. Uh, met up with some peeps, man. We just watched it at a bar, but it was it was still a good time, man, because the atmosphere is pretty much all Miami, all Florida. So, like I said, we won this, we lost this game 24 to 20, 2024. 20, uh, this game pretty, you know, people looked at this game and pretty much thought it showed a lot of promise for Miami this year, man, but it didn't happen. Ended up going six and seven. Um, Jared Williams did pretty all right, so then everybody's saying he's going to be the future. The offense is pretty moving pretty smoothly against a, a great defense like Florida, so it was like the offense is finally clicking. I'm saying the defense pretty much picked up where they left off at. So, anyways, man, we're going to get into this game, man, and see what's happening. I believe it was our first drive of the game. I'm saying these uh, Florida, they're playing off, man, playing a whole lot off. So, I mean, why not pick a tight end screen with the best tight end in the country, man? So, I guess they didn't they didn't expect Brevin Jordan to be an athlete like he is. But, hey. Another quick throw to KJ Osborne. Quick throw to KJ Osborne. The corner's playing off. Why not give him a quick throw? I'm saying KJ came in, ended up being probably our best receiver on the team. Came from Buffalo, the boy showed it out. Brevin's going to do a little chip block right here. I'm saying this. I would I say it, it was a great play design. I would, it was a tight end screen. Once again, Brevin Jordan running up the catch, man. This is probably second to none for the tight ends, man. It's right here, man. Uh, Zion Nelson sees the blitz come a little too late. Whatever he tries to pick it up, he can't pick it up all the way. DJ has to help him out. That linebacker, he's watching DJ. So, hey, if DJ is blocking, I'm blitzing. Uh, we kind of learned that. I'm you know saying they tell you that. They tell you that uh, as a linebacker. You know I'm saying if you watch, if you're watching the running back, he's not running the route. Blitz. Rex Paris, man, he still had a good. He had a good opening, man. He was two for one. Maybe defense very disruptive. Oh man, Al Blaze Jr. Man, he he gives up his outside shoulder just a little bit. He's supposed to have an outside contain to watch. He gives outside shoulder a little bit, but it was just enough for that guy to put his hands in his chest and slow him down. You know what I'm saying, no reason a fool going Al Blaze. You know what I'm saying he's hell of an athlete. You know what I'm saying he's never got ran by a punter. This is terrible tackling right here, man. One, two, three. I'm gonna say four tackles. Four tackles. What are you gonna see right here, man? Man, you guys fall for play action, so 
Corrigan's get he's there late anyways. You know what I'm saying? I mean, kind of got away with the block in the back. And that's three missed tackles. Kind of got, got away with that block in the back. So, quarter moon never got there, but I mean, they still call that. Go live. <laughs> More specifically, Zion Nelson, who just got playing beat that play. Had a terrible night. I was surprised the offense able to put up 20 points. It's a great point by Gary Frierson, man. He, he, I'm glad he's held an athlete because, in my opinion, I think he's actually supposed to have that outside right there, but he ended up going inside. He's fast enough to get there, so go ahead and get it. You know what I'm saying? But if he gets hit by that um that receiver, that boy is off to the races, man. He just, I mean, he probably just got a corner to beat. He might not be off to the races, but it's damn sure first down. Good job, GB3, man, for being quick as hell, though. Being disruptive, but damn, tackle. My bad about the quality, too, man. This quality is terrible. Turn up a chain, bring it out. <laughs> Scott Patchy, man. <laughs> My cousin played with his brother. We, uh, Matt Patchy. Played, for, played with him in high school. My brother ended up going to Florida. Play, I think he played D-line and moved the whole line. I actually don't know what happened to him afterwards, but... Crazy. My cousin played with him in high school, but they didn't play the same year together because a powerhouse school in high school. <laughs> they wanted him to come there, so they got him the whole apartment where they was. Right? Uh, Trayvon Hill. I'm going to tell you, that's a disruptive play, man. Trayvon Hill is from Vitek, man. Came in in Miami senior year. You know I'm saying? I appreciate it, man. He came in with all. Hey, he was, he's still repping you, baby. I'm saying he still got love for the Hokies, but he's repping the U heavy, man. Sorry about that little pop up. Might be another pop up coming too. I think that's towards the end of this video, though. Shaq Corbin, baby, he basically stole that thing from me. There's no, ain't no way that center didn't have that ball. But hell, hell of a job by Shaq, man. Fight for that ball. It's just a great design play by the offense, man. Great design play, man. Everybody picked up their blocks. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. Florida only had one linebacker in the box. Boom! Sit down, man. Cameron Harris, baby. You're going to have a hell of a year in 2020, man. He got some heavy competition behind him, so I know he's gonna tighten up. I mean, he already played good, man, but imagine slaying that fool going there. Jeff Thomas, man, I'm gonna miss him, man. Hell of an athlete, man. He had a lot of off the field issues, man, but I was always a Jeff Thomas fan. Just, oh, Great design. Oh uh, man, this this uh safety linebacker does get his hands doesn't get his hands on Jeff Thomas, man. So just Thomas just free to run, get right under right behind the coverage. I mean, you got to put a hand on him so that safety could um could help out, man. So he get got time to help out. He's just free, man. Anybody that play Madden pretty much know that ever happens. Oh, man, that wasn't even him, man. That was a strong man. So it was still that linebacker's fault. He's supposed to get some depth. This is pretty much the same blitz from the first drive. Zion Nelson, he doesn't pick him up. So DJ has to pick him up all the way. But that, so he, DJ completely leaves the pocket. So it's not even DJ's fault. He got ran over on the block, but, you know, <laughs> DJ's a dog, for example. This is all DJ right here, man. I love Miss Tackers, man. Hey, I'm going I'm to miss this boy, too, man. DJ's a dog, man. He might be doing it through. 
I think this man coverage, <laughs> this man coverage in this number seven just flat out gets beat. Just flat out gets beat by Brevin Jordan, man. <laughs> There's so much space in between them, man. Great job by Jerry Williams to see that, man. He probably was going to throw it to him anyway. Brevin Jordan is that dude. Not a big fan of the turnover reigns. I mean, the touchdown reign. But, hey. Greg Russo, who wasn't even starting this game. Probably the best defense in the country. Yeah, man. Just found that hole right there. Great job, everybody covering the gaps, man. Patrick has his hand free, man. Oh man, what's his longer? But everybody had their gaps, man. Boy had the outside. Romeo Finley had the gap in between that. Scott Patch had the other gap. Uh, Shaq Quarterman's playing the uh, playing the cutback. Everybody's where they're supposed to be at, man. You love seeing stuff. It's gotta love seeing stuff like this. Good job, Romeo Finley. Another cat I'm gonna miss, man. Well, you got that little early bandy, but hey. Oh, Shaq doesn't get, his, get a hand on him, man. So he just runs flying through. Nobody puts a hand on him. Great, uh, great goal line stand right here. Defense rises up, their backs are against the goal line. Nice, little player. What was their goal line stand? This was good when they played Virginia Tech this year. <laughs> this right here, when I knew Jaron Wisdom was not athletic right there. <laughs> He may be fast, straight line, man, but he's... <laughs> What's his... Let's move, man. Nah, you ain't fooling nobody, man. <laughs> Shout out to him for trying to make a play, though. That was a lot of time. Uh, this right here pretty much changed the whole game. So I love Jeff Thomas, but goddamn. Yeah, two plays this game, man. Like, <laughs> some people just say that he single handedly lost the game, but I mean, it was, it was definitely still a team effort. So. A lot of bad things that happened this game, a lot of good things. Oh, man. It's just a surprise to see him. Yeah. Hey, Jay T. Uh, uh, uh. He's gonna be great in the pros, man. He's gonna do well in the pros. Oh, <laughs> hey, one thing about linebackers, man. Hey, they was they was where they needed to be, man. But they was slow as hell. And the guys behind him. Uh, oh, this is all DJ right here, man. Check this out. Bro. All DJ right here, man. Come on, bro. Deceptive speed, too, man. Well, I, I know how, I already know how fast DJ was just from his freshman year. I'm saying he just packed on some weight, man. But he packed it on really well. DJ's going to be underrated in the pros. He's going to be good, though. Terrible throw. <laughs> but I'll take it. So, yeah, but this could have been, this could have went really wrong, though. Could have went really wrong. It was just overthrown. Shaq, nobody puts a hand on that guy, man, so he's just running free. 
Yeah, Mario Carter, he just gets, he's just in the right place at the right time, to be honest. Hell of a play, though. And this, he made two field goals prior, but this was the beginning of the end for Bubba Baxa. Goes down that seam route. Gilbert Fryers ain't really just gets beat. I'm saying this gets beat. A former corner. Uh, I... But I don't know why Mark Carter is not playing the middle of the field. I mean, he's playing, he's playing the left side of the field. He wasn't playing the middle, so he, he's not able to help out for us. That's crazy. Frank's a big boy, man. That throw right there is when I was like, you know, Jaron's going to be <laughs> pretty fine. We're having a great ass game this game, man. Like, they're a pretty good game, man. And flag right there. He got the sack, but he got the flag. It didn't show it, man, but Cam Harris had a. Big ass touchdown run, but he got called back. He goes to pop up. Got hit. <laughs> Let go. Let go. What happened this drive, man? I don't know if we went for it, if we missed the field goal or what, man, because we didn't get any points out this drive right here. Unless it was just a, oh, it was 30-27, so, <laughs> we just kept getting sacked and <laughs> penalties, man. But we had a lot of opportunities to drive to make something happen, because, and we had a pass interference call right here, I think we had another one called, so we had an ample amount of opportunity, though, to win this game, but, I was pretty stressed after this game, to be honest, man. I was pretty stressed. And I was depressed, man. It was a good ass game. You know what I'm saying? But this game definitely tore up the rest of the season, man. But yeah, man. Florida wins, you know what I'm saying? They still the little brothers, though. They not even little brothers, man. They like the distant relative. They like the like the fifth cousin, man. That we, you know, saying the fifth cousin. You know, I always ask for money, man. Just, hey, just get from around us, man. You know what I'm saying FSU will call the little, the little brothers, man. Like, you know, they always gonna be little brothers. But you know I'm saying hell of a game, man. Like I said, man. If y'all want me to do um another game, you know what I'm saying if you got any requests, I uh, dish it out, man. But I mean, if you don't, I, I still come up with something, man. But that's all I got, man. Hey. Comment, like, subscribe, man. Thumbs up on your boy, man. So I got, man. Remember, keep everything 1K. All about the you.